Absolutely. And I know a few weeks ago, first week of June or so, you were at one of the OTA practices for the Dolphins. And I guess they're having a rough day because I did hear your spot on with Joe Rose. And you said it was not a very good day for the offense to just put it nicely. Um, but I don't believe you said they should have turned off the music and probably started the whole practice over. What did you see that day that sort of, once again, it's just one day. It's in June. I think we all understand that. But what did you see that day that sort of raised some red flags of this didn't look good on that one day? Uh, see, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to disagree with you a little bit. Okay. I know it's June. I know it's June. But what I expect, what I expect to see, I don't expect to see the opening day game plan. I don't, I don't expect that. But what I do expect to see is the first day of minicamp game plan. I want to see that, and I want to see it executed. Now, don't forget, it's not like I've never been on the field with some pretty good quarterbacks. You've because I was to Dan Marino his whole career. And when I went to the Jets, you know, Vinny Testaverde was finishing up in Chad Pennington game. Oh, but by the way, we also had a guy named Brett Favre. So I was on the practice field with him every day. Oh, and then I finished up with a guy named Drew Brees. So I've been on the field with some pretty good offensive football teams that know how to practice an offense. And in my opinion, that was just a, a, a poor offensive practice. I saw mistake after mistake. Guys weren't lined up right. It just was, it was discouraging. And so for me, you know, I'm not looking for opening day game plan. But I, don't, but I want to see a game plan that I know they put in. And I know they practiced. And I know they walked through it. I want to see it executed. And if it's not, I'm not going to be a happy camper. I, you know, I got accused like on the air because they said I was old school. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm old school because I guess I'm older. But I'm reactionary. I'm going to react to what I see. I would much rather say, hey, hey what? I said, whoa, wait, that's what I'm looking for. Instead of, I want to go in a corner and throw up. And that's that's how I felt. I was very disappointed. And and I was, one thing I know about Miami that I'm sure of right now in watching them, if the NFL has a race this year, Miami's going to win it because that football team is fast. I mean, they are fast. They have people at all positions that can really run. Is the quarterback going to be the guy? I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know enough to say. Is the head coach going to be the guy? I don't know that either. I don't know yet. But those are things that we're going to find out. But there's some weapons on that team. There's some weapons. And they've, they've got some talent. I love the speed of the defense. I like what they're doing. You know, the receivers, those guys can all run. They've got some good-looking football players on that team. So can they add those two? They're pretty good ingredients now. That you've got to have the head coach and the, and the quarterback. I, I'm not being critical of them. I just – don't know. I don't know. That day, to be honest with you, I, I, I was disappointed. I was disappointed that day. And I think that's okay. But I'm allowed to be disappointed. Absolutely. But for me, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna raise I'm gonna raise a little bit of cane. Uh, and, and I'm not gonna I'm, I, I, I'm not gonna I would have not accepted that off that offensive practice. I wouldn't have accepted it. I just wouldn't have. We'd have done something different. I don't know what it would have been. I'd have gone to the damn gym or something, but it would have changed. I promise you that. Yeah, absolutely. And um, it, it's going to be interesting to see with this head coach, because I know you coach with, I mean, Shula, Jimmy, Herm Edwards, Rex Ryan, Sean Payton, just to name a few. That's a who's who of very good NFL coaches who had a lot of success in this league. Mike McDaniels cut from a whole different cloth than those guys. That doesn't make right. it a bad cloth. It's just no. different. It's just different. And I think Correct. as fans of this team, it's going to be interesting to watch to see because for every team, every head coach in a season, there's highs, there's lows. It's never a smooth sailing. It's going to be interesting to see how he navigates that for the first time because you hear him speak. It's not like other coaches. Um, it's just different. And I think that's interesting. It's going to be exciting to follow. And as a fan of this team like I am, it's going to be – I'm hoping for the best. I really am because I think this kid has a chance to be special. But until we see it, we don't know yet, like you said. Yeah, you just don't know. I mean, you know – and. His his background, you know, it's it's kind of a computer type background, and a, a guy that's you know been behind the desk and done those things. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but yet you know you, there's a lot of things, you know, clock management, challenges, timeouts, getting a team motivated, disciplining a team, and um, I saw some things that I was very impressed with, and I saw some things I was not very impressed with, to tell you the truth. And uh, but I can't help it, you know, I, as I said. 
you know, I, I was all those years with Don and then Jimmy. And, of course, you know, Sean Payton is, is just an absolutely tremendous football coach. And I had a great relationship with Sean. He's, uh, he's, he's actually the best on-the-field teacher I've ever seen in my 32-year career, Sean Payton. He's wow. brilliant, brilliant offense, brilliant. I mean, I watched him at practice and how they practice. And then to tell you the truth, I saw that mess the other day. I'm just going to be honest. I, I just, I'm, I shoot me. I don't care. I mean, I, I was at minicamp with the Saints. When, like I didn't. You know, I, I was there. I saw it. Not that long ago. No, it's not that long ago. So you get my point. It's oh, just yeah. a matter of I it's a matter it. of okay. You know, let's get let, let's let's let let's not be a mess. Let's solve the problem. Let's get out there. Let's not let's get lined up properly. And, uh, and do things the right way. Now, can, will it happen? I think they've got enough talent to make it happen. I really do. I think there's talent there. If it doesn't happen, um, I would be very disappointed. If I were a fan, I would expect pretty big things. But I'd have those two two question marks which have to be resolved. Yep. 